Hello guys, this is Broomring here, and welcome back to another video, and today, it is that time of the year again. We are almost exactly a year after we've made this last map, which I believe was on episode 7? I'm actually going to check. Just checked, it is, or was, episode 7. And yeah, it's now currently September 16th of 2023 at the time I'm recording. So it's just fair to map everything out, all of the progress I've done. First what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do the miniature rats first, because I should really grab more rockets. I actually have some gunpowder I got. Oh yeah, also I did get um, a, an upgrade template and upgraded all my armor and that sort of stuff. Well, my armor, sorry, netherite. Uh, sorry, upgraded all my tools and netherite. That was off camera, but yeah. Last episode, it was a pain because I had like, well not last episode, sorry. Um, Last year, it was an absolute pain because at that time I had barely any resources. But now it should be much easier. So what we did, if you don't remember, is first we covered up all of the roads, well minecart rails, with a certain block. Um, I used hay bales last time. I don't have very many of those, and also different routes has different blocks. So what I'm probably going to do is, of course, do ones that I have a lot of. So I don't think sandstone will make a difference. I think for this road, I'm going to use iron blocks. Oh yeah, it also goes above the surface there. And then for route 2, I'm probably going to do something like... I actually don't know probably basalt because i have a lot of basalt and for the new route one you're gonna see what i'm gonna do later because yeah i have an idea for it i don't know how well it's gonna turn out it should turn out pretty well but you'll see but anyways let's get started collecting iron blocks from all around this world which there are a lot and Oh yeah, there's a little spoiler with the um, roses right there. And start building or covering up all of the tracks of Route 1 in iron. Oh yeah, actually, I yeah, it was, now that I remember, it was even worse destroying it than um, building it because it takes longer to destroy than build. I don't, since I don't really use the minecarts as much... As I did before, well, at least the above ground ones. I don't think that'll be a big issue. So, that's fine, but... Yeah, now I just need to go around this entire world, look for iron blocks, and then cover up Rat 1. Or should I say Old Rat 1? That's its new name. Since I'm working on the new one, which is what we're doing down there. Found all the iron around. I have... Or at least that I've had, like, near me. There was probably some very, really deep down in my mess of a storage system. But I got around nine stacks of iron. I'm not exactly sure if this is going to be enough or not. Especially since at the scale we're using, these will have to be four blocks wide instead of one. And, oh yeah, another thing is that, unlike last time... We have a really good sugarcane farm, which, well, if we go in here, yeah, that's a tiny bit of sugarcane right there. You know, I'd say a tiny bit. Nothing too crazy. And now what we can do is just go absolutely nuts with crafting these maps. And, oh, I can get even more paper. And yeah, I just put this in the middle. And I'm going to do scale of 2. That's 5, 12 by 5, 12. Because that's the scale we'll need. Wait. That's how you do it, right? Or does, does the map have to be... Oh, I forget. I forget if the map has to be... Uh, activated before? You do this or after? Oh, this is weird. 
I'm gonna worry about that a bit later. Anyways, let's get to um, placing down iron blocks. This will be fun. And yeah, funnest funnest experience in my life. So I'm gonna probably do 36 to 39. Do something like that to trick the algorithm. So, oh yeah, it's supposed to be one block higher, isn't it? Like I said, I almost, oops, I almost never use this rail, so covering it doesn't really matter. Wow, I barely had enough to go to um my little hut over here. That is insane. Okay, I really underestimated the amount of iron I need here. I think what I'm actually going to do is um, grab one of these maps and open it up and it'll be the, I don't, doesn't, the um, placement doesn't really matter since it'll be a 512 by 512, but I guess I can do like here or something. And now I can, in theory, craft it and then it should um, cover up the entire area. You can really see here how little significance that line makes. Like, look at that. It's like barely anything. Even though it's four blocks wide. And as you can see, the rails, like the above ground ones for Rat 2, you can't see them at all. They're like near the top where those lava pools are, but you can't see them at all because of how zoomed out it is. I have another idea. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna mix some of this iron with some other blocks such as bone blocks and iron trap doors. And the reason why is that, in theory that should actually go even, um, is that, well to get this further, and I, since the iron is dark, I think bone blocks might actually have the same color as that. I don't know for sure, but that could be the case. Also, the reason why I'm doing valuables like iron and that sort of stuff here, bone blocks, instead of like something like white concrete, is so I'm more inclined to mine it. Because I feel like if I just do something like, I don't know, wool especially, since it's so hard to mine, or break, I just leave it there forever. You see, I know myself well enough that that's something that I definitely do. Okay, so the quartz is, um, kind of has it here so it will continue on over here although um, I needed to get it on top of those buildings so probably gonna start from this elevation or no one above so like here and continue on from here now I am well aware that I will eventually have to use something like quartz, but I'm just trying to get as many, you know, valuable stuff out and stored, per se, so that, um, like I said, I can just mine all of this with ease and feel like I'm actually getting something, and then I can do the quartz, which I have a decent um, amount of, so that shouldn't be an issue. The shade of white might change a bit from the iron to the bone blocks to the quartz, but it shouldn't be that bad. And with sandstone, I'm afraid that it will be just be the same color as the sand. Wait. Yeah, no, it is, I think. Well, nope, slightly different. Well, at the same time, it's like, it just isn't very different, so you, you won't notice it. That's the thing, unlike here, where it's like a giant iron line, or a white line. You know, you wouldn't notice just sandstone in an... In a world which is only sand. <laughs> what the? You can't see them at, at all. What the f... What? Huh? Look, look at that. It just takes a huge gash out of the beacon. What? What on earth? Why? They aren't even the same color. What? Okay. This will obviously not work. I decided to do some AFKing. I got around one and a half stacks of iron blocks more. Um, 
I should have gone overnight, but I didn't. Now I'm going to try Quartz, since Bone Blocks obviously did not work. I mean, the if came for Iron Blocks wasn't really necessary, but it. I think it'll help me a bit in the long run. Especially since um, I'm us I used a lot of iron for villager trading. It's a brighter shade of white, and for whatever reason, it's off-center. That triggers me. That triggers me a lot. Why is it off-center? What? Oh, it's an illusion. Oh my gosh. That is just... Oh. That's just awful. You see, if you look up here, the beacon is right underneath where all those iron blocks or sorry, course blocks are, that made it look like it was slightly to the right of for the iron blocks. Oh my gosh. Wow. Just wow. Anyways, I'm going to continue building this out. And it's raining now. Or cloudy, should I say. It never rains on this world. Because it's a, the entire world's a desert. And, you know, deserts are deserted. That's why they're called deserts. And they don't get any rain. This is how far we were able to get with all of the quartz we got from last episode. That's pretty far if you ask me. And we have even more actually. I know it's a fact unless I... Well, I know it's a fact we have even more quartz down by the area where the city is starting. But I also am pretty sure we have even more quartz... Down where the um, beginning of the mine is, or new road system. I'm talking about this chest monster right here, if you can't tell. These are all minecart chests from episode 35, and slowly but surely I've been going through these and grabbing materials out. It's been taking a really long time because I got so many resources from that video, it's not even funny. But... Yeah, and it's like resources are like scattered literally everywhere. I mean, I'm not going to use quartz bricks, I don't think, but I'm going to grab those anyway. And yeah, I like. <laughs> but, like, look at this. I mean, some of them are perfectly organized like this, and then others are like <laughs> absolute abominations. Not to mention, I have a lot of um, my car chests still in here. Or, sorry, shulker boxes. Yeah, so it doesn't look like we have any quartz down here, but... Yeah, that was... It was worth looking. Now, this is all the quartz we were able to scavenge, but... That isn't really enough to complete this. Although, there's a good side. Since I have my villagers up, I... I can trade quartz with them, in theory. And also, I have so much paper from my sugarcane farm. I can just use that and get a whole bunch of quartz blocks. So, this shouldn't be too hard. I got two shulker boxes full of paper. And now, what I think I'm going to do is first, I need more rockets. So, I'm waiting until it's nighttime. And, oh, that's the wrong tool of choice. And... My coordination is horrible today. Okay. Oh, you know, I'll just put this paper in here. And what I'm going to do is trade with the villagers to get quartz. Well, quartz blocks. Because that's the quickest way of getting quartz on this world, ex you know, excluding quartz mining. Wow, that took a really long time. I mean, really long is multiple hours getting all of that quartz, but it's finally done. We've got that line in place, which would be Route 1. So, yeah. Now what we need to do next is gather, or not gather, but bring up the basalt we have down in the basement area and cover up Route 2 like we did with Route 1. That This should be much easier since I have enough basalt to do so. So, yeah, let's do that. Now, if we fly up here, you'll see that there are actually two different places where Route 2 starts. Well, at least currently. This shouldn't really be the case, although I've kind of left it here because I'm working... Because this system's, road system's temporary, but 
as you can see the route going east splits oh gosh sorry the route splitting off east goes and turns right like that um what is this block z1 well the one going west is a bit further north north at z negative 14. so it will look slightly wonky on the map although that is how it is designed <laughs> whoa that's cool that's this is how it looks like on one time scaling um uh, or n normal scaling uh that's that's awesome the reason why i did that is because i need one more to uh for the very back because maps if you don't know are kind of weird in the way that it really depends on where you are this dyslexia moment maps are weird because the start and this doesn't change no matter how many times you scale up is that x negative 64 z negative 64 it isn't like it goes around spawn no it's like centered on specifically that block which makes things scaling so weird because it's asymmetrical on all sides basically and I have no paper. I just spent all of that on villager trading. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I did not think this through. Anyways, that can be fixed later. Now, what I'm going to do is on the zoom out map. Also, if you're wondering, I will be using more than one map. The reason why I'm only using one map currently is because I can walk this and then I can collect all of the materials I used here and then extend it further that way. Um, which is what I'm going to be doing with Route 1 since I don't have that much quartz. But Route 2, not going to get it north, I don't think. But, or maybe, maybe I'll do one map north. Maybe, I, I don't know. But I have so much basalt that I don't think I need to do that with Route 2. So, yet again, I'm going to do the same thing as I did with Route 1. I'm going to go four blocks like that okay extends a bit further like this that's seven yeah and this what will happen is it'll kind of just go well this will be slightly different but it'll just slowly thin out like this and then these four will be on the will be um the track now we need to go to x negative 64 oh did i say north i meant west sorry because oh my gosh you can't even see this north east southwest thing on map jeez that's that's weird <laughs> okay fun fact i was I think i was showing like to a couple of my friends this right before episode 35 in my senior project and i'm like guess which way i'm gonna go you don't have to get it right but just guess and they all said west which was correct but yeah just a little why is there a cow just okay i'm getting very easily sidetracked um although yeah so i just built that because just look straight down this is actually at exactly zero to zero right here you can't tell which way is which you need the cords up or something like that or just a marker like that and that's why i built it it was just i was seeing if my friends could guess which way i was gonna make my senior project and they all guessed correctly i must have been how i phrased it or something like that as to why that happened but oh well I kept it ever since. I didn't feel like tearing it down since I, I'm i planning about building something huge in this area, although I'm not going to be working on that until a pretty long time in the future. So yeah, I don't think I'm going to touch with that anytime soon, <laughs> although yeah, eventually it'll be removed. It also very kindly signalizes me, if I don't have cords up, which way I'm going. I mean, I'm... I've been on this world for long enough that I 
kind of know, I know, like, if I'm flying here, which way is which, but sometimes I might be tired or something like that, and I forget, or, like, right before, where I was thinking I was going north, when reality was going west, stuff like that happens, and, yeah, it just, it's just there, and it's useful. That's the west, oh, let me kill the slime first. <clears throat> This is the west side right there, complete. As you can see, I put an arrow at the end to signalize that it goes much further than what the map displays. Which, I think that works. Now I need to go east, which is much longer. And I ran out of basalt. I never thought I would say that, but yes, here I am. Although, wait a moment. We're at X916. We're one block away from this diverge pier point right here. Now, this is not going to end there because we still have 500 blocks to go. Well, actually, that's not even 500 blocks. How, how many blocks even is that? Oh, only 200. Okay, that's not bad at all. But, yeah, we also have to do this. Also, that going from underground up to the nether portal over there, along with this road, which is different from Route 2, which is why it kind of has a sharp curve over here and then smooth the rest. That's what's signalizing. But, this is way out of the um, area we're mapping, so let's go back there, should, shall we? And I think. We can just focus on that, and I think we will have a part two to this. Now, what we have to do now is just write, you know, a one, route one and route two on the map. So, yeah, we're going to do this right before the video ends. It shouldn't take that long. Have you ever seen a slime on slime blocks? Well, now I have. What the... What is it doing? Wait. Oh my gosh. Is it like resetting its attack every single time? It is that? Okay, that's... <laughs> Oops. Whatever. That's funny though. <laughs> that looks so weird. Now I put a blackstone rim around the slime box. And now all I need to do is just write a big one on there. That looks good. I also noticed that the blackstone is the same, exact same color as basalt. Which makes things a lot easier. Now, I unironically have to kill more slimes. Yeah. I don't think I ever thought I would say that on the series. But here I am. To get more slime blocks. So, funny funny story. Um, When I was just starting a series and there were slimes everywhere. I thought I'd have by far the most amount of slime balls. Out of any other resource. And slime blocks. Although... Like, to the point that I'd have to store, like, billions in some side of some sort of huge storage system. Although, yeah, I mean, that isn't the case because I only had 10 stacks of slime blocks. And the reason why is because I've learned ways to avoid getting my pockets completely crammed with slime blocks. First, I started to just... First, I did some old habits, such as just throwing out the slime balls just as I get it in my hand. And I also started to basically just leave the slimes alone once I killed them, the little ones, so I don't get the slime balls. And that's made playing so much easier, although it kind of sucks in this situation. And now, I have the materials so that I can make a Route 2 sign right here. And after that, we will be done. And yes, this has been a very long video. I am sorry about that. It This just takes usually a really long time. So, yeah. And there it is. There's the two. Now, I want to add something right underneath. Right before we end this episode, you'll see. But first, I have to fly this way. Like... A long way <laughs> because yeah we need to get to the other end of this I'm actually gonna take a map of the senior project I made as well because honestly the coordinates 
at which this ends because I'm going to write that underneath. 4437 is where it ends. I'm going to go to sleep and then I'm just going to go to um, my senior project since it's not very far away from here. It's only like a thousand blocks that way. So yeah, and like I said, I'm just going to take a map of it. I mean, it's not perfect, but that'll do for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Where either next or video after, we're going to be finishing mapping everything out. Peace out!